So I, 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 like part of the board, not all of it. Okay, make up something we're gonna call bank, and we're gonna keep our points there. Okay, now the bank, you're never like this is perfect. Can I see Kai's here? As far as the size of that, that's perfect. Okay, anything bigger than that, probably too big. Okay, this is where you're gonna keep um, your tally marks of what your points are. Okay, you're trying to get the most points out of the whole class. All right, the way you get points are really easy. All right, you get points for getting the question correct. So if I give you a question and you get the steps and the answer right, then you get a point. All right, and what you're going to do then, if I get it right, you're just going to, for yourself, you're going to put a tally mark there, okay? Um, the other way you get a point is when we, after you're done, okay, so let's say these two are partners here. They're, gonna, they're both going to solve the problem. They're going to see if they got it right. Awesome, they're done, okay? Then they're going to play rock, paper, scissors, Okay? So if I play key lead, rock, paper, scissors, you're going to go one, two, three, shoot. So we go one, two, three, shoot. Okay, she beat me. So I'm a not winner, and she's a winner. Okay, so she's going to go to the winner side. The winner side will always be over here. So she'll come over here, and because I'm a not winner, which side do I go to? Over there. Okay, I do not get an extra point. Keely does. So how many points does she have now? She has two points. I have one point. Because I got the question right, but I did not win my rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Then we're going to come over here. I'm going to find a new partner. So me and Dominic are now partners. We're both going to solve the new problem. We both get it correct. Awesome. Okay, I, we both get a point for that. And then we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. Okay, ready? One, two, two. Okay, I lose again. Okay? So I'm going to stay over here as a not winner. He's going to go over there as a winner. Okay, now he has three points because he got two for that round and one for the first round. Does that make sense? Okay, it's pretty easy. Now here's the thing. We all stick together. So... This first round, there's a place where you're sitting by. Okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do is after that we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the other side, okay? But as far as problems, don't play rock, paper, scissors until I tell you to. Go ahead and solve the problem, get done, I'll go through the answer, and then we'll count it out. Okay? Alright, here we go. First round. Trying to figure this out. Okay? Follow the order of operations. We're using decimals here. So take your time, show your steps. Take your time, follow the order of operations. The only difference between this and the other problems last week is that we have um, decimals. So think about Aunt Sally. You still need to use Aunt Sally's rules. If you want to, when you're done, you can talk to your partner and see what they got. No, I'm going to go through it as a class here. So. Thank you. 
Okay, give me about another 15 seconds here. Okay. I'm going to start going through it. If you're still working, you can finish. That's fine. Okay, if you're close to being done, just go ahead and finish. Okay, this is going to really bring a lot together. All right? Now, this is going to be where you start down your steps. Your steps should make a shape, a triangular shape going down the page still. All right? So we're going to start with what on this problem? Tegan, what are we starting with on this problem? Uh, yep, 2.3, 2 and 3 tenths times 5. Now, I was talking back to this group back there. Think about this answer. We have five groups of 2 and 3 tenths. Right? Okay, so what's this answer going to be above? Give me an estimation. It's going to be above what? 10. Okay, because 5 times 2 is 10. It's going to be above 10. Okay, so I'm going to go off to the side and work this out. I have 2 and 3 tenths times 5. I have 15, and then 10, 11. Okay, and I'm going to count out my decimals. Remember our song? Okay, count our decimals. We have one decimal here. We're going to move it over how many places? One. One, when we're done. Okay, so we should have 11 and a half. And I'm going to bring everything else down. Okay, is this considered steps right here? This? Yes. This? No, no. no, what's that called? Well, work. work. That's called work. This is steps. This goes off to the side. This goes below. Okay, now can we go ahead and add those together? Yep. So we have 11 and a half plus 4 and 7 tenths. Line up our decimals. We get 12, 5, 6, 1. Bring down our decimal. Yep. Okay, we have 16 and 2 tenths is our answer. Okay, so up in your bank, give yourself a point. You got that right. So go to Talon Mark. All right, here it goes. Here's, the, here's where the winners are decided. All right, go ahead and drop it for sister. So you get a point. One, two, three, shoot. And one, two, three, shoot. No, every time you do this, I'm not Okay, winners over there. Not yeah, bring yourself with you. Winners over there, not winners over there. Bring your whiteboard marker or eraser. Winners, not winners. So find a new partner. Find a new partner with your either winners or not winners. New partners over here. Great new partner over there, guys, for winners. So Tegan, you got your partner? Okay, here we go. Round two. Round two. Okay, you can either stand or you can kneel or you can sit. It doesn't matter. Just figure this out. Take your time. Follow the order of operations. Okay? Order of operations do still apply. 